Seiko is back and its new models have finally started hitting the shelves after what has seemed like a long hiatus this year. And we are going to start this off with the SLA 065 Pro Specs Limited Edition, which is a recreation of the 62 Moss case, which is originally from a dive watch that they made in 1965. The first watch made in Japan with water resistance, great legibility, and excellent durability that made it standard equipment on the Japanese Antarctic Research Expedition and propelled Seiko into the forefront of dive watch design. This piece is meant to pay tribute to underwater archaeology and features a blue sunray dial with a design inspired by ancient astrolabs, which were used to find latitude and time based on the position of the stars and the sun. This piece also has a lot in common with Grand Seiko, which we will find out about later in the video. But will this be the refined Seiko diver that you have been looking for, or will you just keep saving for the next Grand Seiko? Let's find out. What's up everyone, it's Chris with the Little Treasury Channel. Welcome back. This is where we bring you original and in-depth watch content at least once per week. If you haven't already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be alerted as soon as we upload. I'm from Little Treasury Jewelers, which is located in Gambrels, Maryland. And it's where you go when you're in the know. As always, the watches that I review are for sale and can be purchased, so please see the description below to contact us. If you're just joining us now, I'll go over the watch's detailed measurements and features, and then I'll offer my personal opinion at the end. In our last video, I reviewed the Grand Seiko SBGR325, which is a 37mm clean and simple Sky Over Mount Iwate inspired limited edition. I recommend this one to anyone looking for a smaller case sized piece that just wants a clean and simple beauty and no crazy textures. Wrist check time, today I'm wearing my Grand Seiko Snowflake since today's watch has more in common with a Grand Seiko than most other Seikos. Now tell me which watch that you're wearing while watching the video and make sure to tell me why. Now let's get on to the features. My measurements for the SLA 065 are a 40.1 millimeter case width, a 13.1 millimeter thickness, a 47.4 millimeter lug to lug, a 19.6 millimeter lug width, a 32 millimeter crystal diameter, and weighs in at 111.06 grams. The case is the 62 Moss Recreation, which has a large flat surface at the top in matte finish, and a small area of Zeratsu high polish, just like the Grand Seiko's at the edges. The sides are matte finished with more Zeratsu finish beneath. A screw down crown can be found at the three position and it is simple with no logo. The sapphire crystal sits flush with the bezel. The bezel is a very dark blue that you might mistake for black and is most likely aluminum with a surface hardened coating applied and has a distinct shine to it, I might add. It turns unidirectionally like a dive watch should and let's go ahead and test the action. The action is good and it feels nice for this price point. The clicks have that unique Seiko sound and feel and it does line up properly like it is supposed to. The dial is a blue sunray pattern and design is inspired by ancient astrolabs, used to find latitude and time based on the position of the stars and the sun. A white minute grade can be found along the edge of the dial. The dial markers are thick and rectangular with high polished edges and a small mini marker at the three position. Seiko can be found in white at the top middle portion. The hour and minute hands are paddle style and are in high polish with a silver toned second hand that has a rectangular loomed area on the tip. The date window can be found at the three position with no frame and a white background with black numerals. Automatic, the Prospect symbol, and Divers 200M can be found on the bottom middle portion of the dial in white. Vivid Loom can be found on all dial markers, the hour and minute hands, and the pip on the bezel. The case back is closed and has a wave in the center. It has limited edition with the limited number beneath it. The movement is the high torque 8L35 caliber, which has been assembled in the Shizuku Ichi watch studio, which is where they make Grand Seiko pieces. This movement has been based on the Grand Seiko caliber 9S, but has slightly different specs, being it beats at 28,800 beats per hour and has a 50 hour power reserve instead of the 72 on the 9S. The accuracy is rated to between losing 10 and gaining 15 seconds per day. It is typically placed in high-end Prospects dive pieces and is rarely seen. 
The rubber strap is new and has vertical lines going down the center with a steel keeper and pin buckle that are both finished very nicely. The Seiko SLA-065 is 200 meter water resistant, is limited to 1300 pieces worldwide, and can be yours for $2,900. Now for my personal opinion. I've missed doing Seiko reviews, and really it has been so long since they have released something this exciting. So I'm very happy about this. The 62 Moss case is my favorite one of the Seiko Prospects line, since it is simple, clean, and relatively thin. And this piece takes that case to a new level, but still at a reasonable price point. Previously, we saw other models with Zeratsu finish and 8L movements in the mid $4,000 range, and even close to $7,000. So this is a breath of fresh air at only $2,900. The 8L is really a Grand Seiko 9S movement that hasn't been adjusted in the same way and that Zeratsu polish is the exact same finish, so the value is definitely here. The strap is also much better than what I'm used to with Seiko, and I've tried and tried with the standard black expansion silicone, but it always poofs out and sucks up every piece of lint possible. The strap on this is slim, supple, and has an attractive texture. Also, the keeper and clasp feel much more premium than what I'm used to on Seiko, so that is another bonus. It does look great on my six and a half inch wrist, and it is a pleasure to wear. The dial texture is fun and differentiates this piece from the other models significantly. And it also lets you know that you have a limited edition. I'll go ahead and recommend this to anyone who is looking for a great watch to take to the beach and enjoy in daily activities. And perhaps you have been after a Grand Seiko, but they are just a little bit out of reach financially for you at the time. And this is just a much more attractive option. Thanks for watching today, everyone. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you did, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and share with all of your friends and your family members too. I look forward to seeing you next video.